Hello and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I did my top 10 horror films from the 1970s, and today I'm gonna to do my top 10 horror films from the 1980s. Now, picking favorites is really, really tough because there's so many great films out there. And as I mentioned before, I'm a big fan of international films, uh, universal horror, uh, Italian horror, uh, you know, so it's really tough to pick uh, favorite films. But I'm gonna give it a try again here for the 1980s. And the first film I'm gonna pick is uh, the Dead Zone with Christopher Walken. Now this is a Scream Factory release. I think just came out this year, but it combines a lot of my a lot of my favorite uh, elements, namely Stephen King. I mean, Stephen King has so many great stories, and this is a great adaptation of The Dead Zone. Uh, I love Christopher Walken again in this movie. This particular release has some extra features on it. It's got a new interview with Brooke Adams. It's got an audio commentary with the director of photography. Memories of the Dead Zone. It also comes with this great slipcover. Too, which again, the artwork is the same on the inside here, but I just love having a movie with a slip cover. I think I'm a big fan of that because it just seems to protect the physical media a little bit more. So that's the first one. This next one is a Criterion release of David Cronenberg's Scanners. This happens to be spine number 712, and it's got a lot of extra features there on the back. One of the best releases from Criterion Collection, including. Uh, the, the restored 2K digital transfer of one of Cronenberg's earlier films, Stereo. Now, Cronenberg films can be very challenging to watch. He definitely leaves you on the edge of your seat with a lot of these uh, uh, films, but I think he really uh, kind of dominated in the 80s with uh, Scanners and some other films. Um, so this is, this is really great, a great release from the Criterion Collection, and it's one of the first horror movies that I remember seeing as a kid, if you can believe that. Uh, again, a pretty traumatic film to see when you're younger, but uh, I, it's one of the ones I remember. Um, so that's a great release. In this next one, again, getting back to Stephen King here, uh, the adaptation of The Shining uh, from director Stanley Kubrick. I love this cover. This was a Target exclusive. There's the back of that one with Jack Nicholson. And this one does have uh, some extra features, a commentary by the Steadicam inventor operator, Garrett Brown and historian John Baxter, and then Vivian Kubrick's documentary, The Making of the Shining. I just love this film. It's so haunting, so chilling. Jack Nicholson uh, does a great job in this film. And really the whole cast um, you know, is amazing. Shelley Duvall is amazing in this movie. Um, Danny Lloyd as the, um, as the son also is, is uh, Great. So if you love horror, this is this is one to definitely watch, and it's on my top 10 for the 1980s. Now, uh, this one is, uh, right again, right at the end of the 70s. Well, it, it was released in 1980. This is the original Friday the 13th. And this is at the top of my list because I really enjoyed it. I rewatched it this year, and I feel like it really holds up. Uh, it's got a lot of surprises in it, lots of interesting... Um, you know, for the late 70s, early 80s, these are my favorite types of horror films. And I know there's a new set out as well. Uh, and of course, this, I picked up this set last year when the box set was coming out because this one came down in price. But I know there's a new Blu-ray set out with some extra features on it. Uh, just an amazing franchise. I'm happy to revisit it this year. And I really enjoy the original Friday the 13th from 1980. So that's, at the, that's on my top 10 list. No big surprise here. I think this is on a lot of top 10 lists, but this is the, uh, the I'm just looking for the year here, but I'm pretty sure 1981, The Evil Dead. Now this, had, this is a Blu-ray set with Evil Dead 1 and 2, but I think this is on a lot of people's top 10 lists. It's a great film, really enjoy it. And this one's got, I think, a, I'm trying to see if it has, I don't think this one has extra features on it, but I know there's, oh no, special features for both films, um, archival featurettes, behind the scenes footage, et cetera, cast and crew commentary. So this is a good, this is a good set to pick up. I think it's pretty affordable as well. Evil Dead on my top 10 for the 1980s. Um, I'm going to include these two films, but I'm going to really say that um, Halloween 3 is going to be on my top 10 list for the 1980s. Uh, both of them were released in the 80s, Halloween 2 and Halloween 3. You know from watching the channel probably that I'm such a big fan of Halloween 1978 and the Halloween franchise in general. And But this is a DVD set that I picked up uh, a couple years ago. I really would like to upgrade to the 4Ks on these two, but I know they've been selling out. And, and in many cases, uh, the, the prices are really high for some of these. But let me know in the comments below if you're planning to upgrade your Halloween uh, set. It's really tempting. Um, I'm often in a dilemma too when I want to, uh, you know, upgrade a movie because I already have these movies on DVD or Blu-ray, uh, so it's 
sometimes a struggle for me to decide whether I want to upgrade or not. But I think in this particular case, it's probably a good idea. This is a DVD set, had it for a couple of years, and the 4Ks are out now with a digital copy. So in, in this particular case, since I'm such a big fan of the Halloween franchise, I'll probably upgrade at some point. When the prices come down, I think Best Buy was sold out, Amazon raised their prices. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Hopefully, maybe closer to the holidays, these things will be a little bit lower in price. But Sometimes, you know, sometimes you miss out too and, and, you know, sometimes the movies will sell out. So we'll see what happens, but it really puts me in a dilemma specifically with these movies. But again, Halloween 3, a lot of people talk about Halloween 3 because it's really a different story uh, altogether, but I really enjoy Halloween 3. It's a really an amazing, an amazing film and it's a, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's a Halloween favorite for me, so... Here we go again. Well, this is John Carpenter um, and uh, this is the collector's edition of The Fog, which I think is an amazing horror film. Really enjoyed this one. Watched this one last year. I plan to watch it, I think, every year if I can. Uh, really enjoy it. Look at all the special features on that one as well. Um, this one has um, John Carpenter, of course. I'm such a huge fan of John Carpenter. But this has an audio commentary with John Carpenter and producer Deborah Hill. I, you know, if you've listened to commentaries before, I think John Carpenter does, you know, some of the best commentaries. He's very funny and he's very frank about uh, a lot of the details on the movie. Um, it's got a new commentary with the actors in the movie, uh, Tales from the Mist, Inside the Fog featurette, lots of different featurettes. I also love Screen Factory in general. I think they really uh, have great collector's editions. So I think this one's still available also. The Fog is on my is on my top 10 list for, list for the 80s. Oh, and of course, speaking of John Carpenter, uh, really can't get enough of this movie. I know there's a new 4K on this one. The Thing, this is the Scream Factory release also of John Carpenter's The Thing. I know there's a new 4K out in this one too, and I'm really tempted to pick it up. But for the most part, if I have the Blu-ray, I'm completely okay with it. I just need to be able to watch the movie, but uh, but, but it's really tempting, I have to say. Uh, this, this one has two discs, and it's got a full disc too with lots of extra features. I'll just bring this up here so you can see. Um, New interviews with cast and crew, John Carpenter's The Thing, Terror Takes Shape, documentary featuring uh, featuring interviews with John Carpenter, Kurt Russell, plus members of the cast and crew, The Making of The Thing from 1982, Outtakes. This is probably one of my top 10 films of the 80s in general, but certainly as a horror film, it's just amazing, and I love to rewatch it. I probably watch this one every year as well. Classic John Carpenter, uh, just an amazing, an amazing film in my humble opinion. So... If you haven't seen the thing, I would definitely run out and get it and watch it if you can. Yes, of course. Uh, another classic that I again I remember seeing these in the theater, but from 1982, Poltergeist, and this one's got a nice lenticular cover on it. I think for the most part. Oh, there it is. Yeah, nice lenticular cover there, uh, and there's the back of that one. A few special features on here. Just they are here. The real world of Poltergeist revealed documentary in two parts. Um, it's nice to have this one. Uh, I just really enjoy this movie. Again, remember seeing it in the theater, and it's a great horror film, uh, Poltergeist. And finally, probably in my top three horror films of the 1980s, it's going to be Cronenberg's The Fly. Now, this one I picked up at Best Buy with this with this card. I've shown a couple of these before. It's got a card on the top of here, but it, and then you can see the original cover there of The Fly. Uh, and this one's got special features on the back, as you can see. Um, some additional things, commentary by the director, which I always love when there's a commentary by the director of the film. I think that's very important. Uh, trivia track, search content, etc. But I will say I also have another copy of this on the uh, Screen Factory release of this. If you don't have a cop if you don't have this, this is the Fly Collection, and there's the there's the side and the back. I just love the artwork on here too. But the Fly and the Fly Two are, are included in this. One along with the original uh, Fly movies. And this is a great collection to pick up if you get a chance. It comes with a little J card on the back, which wasn't glued on, which is good, that has some of the extra features on it. But it's got new interviews uh, with uh, 1986 remake producers Mel Brooks and Stuart Kornfeld, uh, writers, uh, new audio commentary with actor David Frankham uh, for Return of the Fly, documentaries. This one has a ton of extra features. I'm just holding up again the J card here that was on the back of this so you can see some of the extra features. Definitely worth it. I think last year this particular set also came down in price so I was able to pick it up. I can't remember how much it was in the beginning but it's a five disc 
Blu-ray set, and I highly recommend picking it up if you get a chance to do that. Um, so those are my top 10 80s horror picks. I'm sure there's so many more out there that I, that I haven't included on my list, so let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite 1980s horror movie. Always looking for great recommendations, and certainly if you have comments on these or if you like these, let me know also in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, click on like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.